Now we're going to talk about the ATG split squat. Now this is a wonderful exercise because it not only challenges the ankle dorsiflexion and knee positioning in this front leg, but it also really works on internal rotation and, and hip extension of the back leg. This is a great progression of the rear foot elevated split squat that's going to help you develop strength in one leg, but this is going to take that and expand the range. And this also is going to really isolate the work on that front leg. So to start, this is what the movement looks like. I find it very helpful to have four feet steps. So one, two, three, and then the fourth one is where you drive forward. So notice a few things. The torso stays upright. If you are doing this and you're feeling pain in the hip or the knee, it's because you're leaning too far forward. You want to relax that, let this foot drive forward. The goal is hamstring to calf. Now, the knee goes forward. The further forward the knee goes, the more it's protected and wrapped. Your goal is to work on this hip, uh, hip extensor in the back and then keeping the torso upright, keeping this back knee off the ground. And so when you do this, you're not resetting, you're driving back out, and you're pushing back up. Driving out, pushing back up. Now, if you aren't there yet, if you are stiff, and you don't have that range of motion yet, what you'll do is you'll set up a, a raised portion and you'll go here and you step and you drive. So you notice I can keep this back knee a little more bent and still work on this. But again, the goal is when you get in this position, you drive it forward, the front heel comes off, I'm straightening that back leg, keeping the torso up, and holding this position, okay? So you go here and you drive up. So this is the regression. Now the progression, you start here with the weight. And you will work up to eventually you have 25% body weight in each hand. So I'm a 200 pound guy. So I would eventually have 50 pounds in each hand. And you'd step, you'll get comfortable, you drive forward, keeping that torso up, heel off the ground, shoulders back, and drive back to here. So I drive, really relax, hamstring the calf, push back up, back knee off the ground. And we're gonna work in sets of five for this one, okay? So you're gonna do both. You can take a rest in between if you need. And once you get to 25% body weight in each hand there, for five each side, then you're gonna to come to the bar. Now, we're gonna hold this in this front rack position because that's gonna allow us to dump it if we get too far forward, if we, get, if we lose our balance. But it also forces us to keep the torso upright. So I'm getting this position, drop, drive forward, and then push back up. So I drive forward, heel comes off the ground, hamstring the calf, shoulders upright, back knee off the ground, keep that leg straight, and I push back up. So I'm going five in a row, okay? The goal eventually is to get 100% body weight on the bar. That would be very impressive, but if you can get to the 50% body weight in each hand, they are 25% body weight in each hand on the dumbbells. That's gonna be a baseline standard to get to first, okay? That is the ATG split squat.